More examples. Um, two cosine, I'm going to start with this. So we have two cosine squared x is equal to cosine x. So we have two cosine squared x. If we subtract both sides of the equation by cosine, then we have cosine x is equal to zero. And, uh, and then we have cosine x as our common factor. Then we have two cosine x minus one. I guess I solved this already. No, I didn't. <laughs> Just so similar with the uh, examples that I solved in my previous videos. Okay, then we have cosine x is equal to zero. Then our x now is equal to x is equal to zero is pi over two. And we have three pi over two. That means 90 degrees and 270 degrees. That's cosine is zero there. Okay. And the other one, we have cosine, 2 cosine x is equal to 1 by adding both sides of the equation by, by 1. Then we have cosine x is equal to 1 half. And then I'm going to draw it again so that you know. Uh, this one is 1 squared of 2. Ah, that, that is not squared of 2. That's 2 and then square root of 3. That means 1 half. This is 60 degrees or pi over 3. So our x is equal to pi over 3. And that is also, our x is also 2 pi minus, on the fourth quadrant, um, pi over 3. And then that is 5 pi over 3. So our x now, we have pi over 2, and then we have 3 pi over 2, and then we have 5 pi over 3. And then as you can see, I forgot one of them. That is pi over 3. Okay, let's try the second one, this one. We know that the sine squared x is 1 minus cosine squared x is equal to 2 minus cosine x. So if we add both sides of the equation by cosine x, subtract 1, cosine x squared x, subtract 1, then we have 0 is equal to cosine squared x minus cosine x plus 1. So let's say we have cosine x is equal to, let's say, t. Then we have t squared minus t plus 1 is equal to 0. We can use this by completing the square. So we have t squared minus um, t uh, is equal to negative 1. And we have here plus one fourth plus one fourth. And then we have t squared at t minus one half squared. The because this should be a perfect square is equal to um negative, if we expand this, we have negative 3 fourth, and then if we take the square root of both sides of the equation, then we have t minus 1, or this is um, no real, real solutions. Okay, because we have negative inside the um, Radicand, radical sign. So, as you can see here, we can also declare this no real solutions. Okay, let's try this one, the last one that we have. We have 2 cosine squared x plus cosine x minus 1. And if we're going to 
factor that we have 2 cosine squared and uh, not squared cosine x and then we have cosine x there we have negative 1 that but we have positive 1 here so that means 2 times positive 1 will become 2 so that's it so we have cosine x 2 cosine x minus 1 is equal to 0 so we have 2 cosine x is equal to 1 um, and then cosine x is equal to 1 half and if we know already this is 60 degrees or pi over 3 then we have 1 there 2 there so we have x is equal to pi over 3 and then 1 half also positive 1 half also in the fourth quadrant so we have pi pi 2 pi minus pi over 3 and we have 6 we have 5 pi over 3 the next one we have cosine x is equal to negative 1 that means our x now is equal to negative 1 is in the second quadrant so we have pi so now our, now our x is pi over 3 and then we have pi and then we have 5 pi over 3 okay let's take this one also i think it's all right it's just six minutes so we have cosine 2x is cosine squared x minus sine squared x minus cosine x is equal to zero so we have um, one no i need cosine so we have cosine squared x minus one minus cosine squared x minus cosine x is equal to zero so we have cosine squared x minus one plus cosine squared x minus cosine x is equal to zero so we have two cosine squared x minus cosine x minus one is equal to zero factoring we have two cosine x and then we have cosine x here we have negative negative so we need negative one here and then positive one there so the first is cosine x plus one is equal to zero so we have cosine x is equal to negative one so cosine x is equal to negative one half and we know that already that cosine x is equal to and cosine x is equal to is one half that is x is equal to pi over three but we have neg negative one half so that means it is on the second quadrant and the third quadrant so in the second quadrant so we have in degrees it is 120 degrees so if i'm going to show here that is 2 pi over 3 2 pi over 3 and on the fourth uh, third quadrant then we have pi plus pi over 3 then we have 3 plus 1 we have 4 pi over 3 okay then the second we have cosine x is equal to 1 that is positive so we know that x is equal to 0 and we have 2 pi because it's positive so our x now is equal to 0 we have 2 pi over 3 and then we have 4 pi over 3 and we have 2 pi okay i think i will stop there in my next video i will be discussing this one the second one there sine 4x is equal to sine 2x so thank you for watching and i hope you will be there also in my next video i really appreciate it have a nice day